Hello and welcome to Weave Motor Motorcar. Now today we have got something that's top class and I mean it's top class, it's levels above, it's the Mercedes Marco Polo. You've got different options in terms of the Ford Nugget and the VW California, but I'm gonna tell you today why this one is a level above. From the front, we've got this lovely big Mercedes badge. We've got the LED intelligent light system, which looks great. It's got like a nice little blue tinge and you've got this nice white LED strip all the way around. We've got the front forward facing camera, which does you 360. Parking sensors everywhere and that pop top above. It looks and has everything. On the passenger side, again, you've got the nice cameras, which you can't just see underneath there, but you've got the alloys just below, which you can. This I'll tell you about in a minute, because I think this is a really good feature from Mercedes. And then you've just got the electrics and water infill just underneath there. And again, compared to like the VW California, which is a 25 litre water tank, this has 38. So it's another level above and it gives you a lot more. So let me tell you something about the Marco Polo. Now, unlike VW that's made in house, this is made by Westfalia, who have been around for over 50 years. But in 2021, Mercedes bought Westfalia. So it is all one company now. So something I want to get onto this side, just like the electrically raised tailgate, we also have a nice sliding door as well, just to complement the electric raising roof, like the California does as well. For me, for the amount of money that you're spending on one of these, that is a must. I just can't see why it doesn't come with it. Let's go and have a look inside. So now we're inside, as you can see, this one has come with the cream leather, which I think looks a lot better, actually. I think it looks a little bit better than the black. It just stands out a bit more. It looks a bit more classy. Again, you can get the AMG range, which is a bit more sporty, which looks really good as well. So below here, we do have electric seats. Again, a really nice feature that you don't see on the others and you can tilt it back. Nice little feature at the back. You do have a button from the front and rear. Not the biggest of openings, but it's an electric window nonetheless. With the rear, as you can see, you do have the roll down blinds. They do attach nice and easily to really black out the cab when you're sleeping at night. Again, lots of storage and a really nice little cup holder at the back. Also, I just want to point out, you do have your switch for the LED lighted on the floor. You've got a USB port and you've got this European plug here, or socket, should I say, which you do need an adapter for. That's the, the only downside to this motorhome. And then you've got your trip switch just below. You've got this yacht style flooring, which just looks ace. And then everything you touch comes out. It's all soft close. It doesn't slam shut. Starting with a sink. Really nice little push button catch, and you've got this lovely silver bowl. Hot, uh, you've got hot and cold water with this as well, I will just add. And again, 38 litres. Two hobs, push button ignite, and just like the VW, you've got the nice big sort of like chest fridge. And then to finish in the rear, we do have this door which opens up, and something, it looks a really nice picture that is, it's really handsome. Oh, sorry, that, oh, it's a mirror. Oh, okay, LED lighting above. Lots of storage. And then as we'll see, you can roll this table back where you can pull the table up and put the leg down. Just as easy as that. Nice and simple. As you can see, even on less than six foot, there is plenty of headroom when you get this bed up. This is all secured up in place. It is a double bed up top, so it's a four berth, four belts. Nice LED lighting and lots of space up there when this bed comes down. Now, the only problem with the bed for me is it's not on gas struts, but as you can see, there's plenty of space all around. So now we're down to the bit that Mercedes does best, the Mercedes cab. Now it is on the 2.1 litre, but it comes with 161 brake horsepower, which is a lovely engine. And it drives by far the best out of the three. Starting with the centre console, you've got this nice big screen in the middle. As you get into 2022, this gets even bigger. It swoops around really nicely. Love these vents and all the little chrome bits that you've got all the way around, including that little volume button that Lewis absolutely loves. This is all touch screen or touch control, however you want to put it. So this goes onto the screen that's up above. And then you've got everything from 
the heated rear windows. It's just brilliant. So you do have the options of the keys like this, so you can control the heating systems and everything like that. Now, we do have this nice big system in the middle, as you can see, it just does everything you want. You've got the nav, you've got the radio, you've got media, telephone, vehicle. It just looks ace. Going through the different menus. System settings, display off, and then you've also got things such as your heating, Again, looks really nice how it just goes through the different menus. Really good system, had these on vehicles before. It just looks really interactive. Driver's side, you have got a leather steering wheel, you've got steering wheel controls, you've got cruise control, you've got flappy paddles on the back. You've got a nice color screen in between the rev counter and the speedometer. And then on the right hand side, you've also got your light controls, your 360 cameras, your heated seats and all this lovely metal work in the windows and mirrors. And as you can see in the centre, you've got this lovely slide back compartment where you've got two cup holders. That also does slide out if you want it to, it's just space. we have got a couple of USB ports, SD card holder and 12 volt socket. And then you've got your control panel. You've got this little stick on the right hand side so you've not got a gear lever like you normally had. Just put your foot on the brake, press all the way down, and off we go. It drives, the best way to put it, like a car. It sits a little bit lower. The noise from the outside is just so, so much better. It's the closest thing you'll get to a car. I've got a VW Transporter myself that I use as a daily basis. That is my vehicle. And this is, hands down, much quieter. So, as I think you can tell, this is probably my favourite of the three. The Nugget and the California. They all start around the 60,000s or early 60,000s and I just think this is the clear hands down. And the chances are you're probably going to be able to get this at the cheaper price. Running cost, I think they outdo them on, this, as, on the fuel and everything like that as well. And I think the styling probably isn't quite as robust as the Transporter or the California should I say. But it just looks so much better. The electric doors, everything is just leagues above and the way it drives as well. Let us know what you think. Comment below, press like, and we shall see you when we got the nugget.